Hello and welcome to SOAP UI web service testing tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the most commonly used custom properties in SOAP UI. So on my screen, you could see there are five properties that I'll be discussing as part of this tutorial. There are more properties available in the tool uh, if you are using the pro version. So in free version of SOAP UI, uh, these are the most commonly used properties or custom properties that are available in SOAP UI. Now before we dig deeper into the properties tutorial, we need to understand why do you need to use properties. Now properties are the central part of the tool um, in case you are doing the advanced SOAP UI testing and you're doing the automation of the web services. Uh, you can utilize properties at multiple places so like you can de uh, define global properties or you can define the project properties which are at the project level global properties are at the global level uh, test suite are uh, at the test suite level similarly test case and test steps are at their respective levels now the importance of properties in tool is uh, there are multiple scenarios where you can um, utilize the properties so for example in your testing environment so you have an endpoint or you have a development environment which has uh, which has a particular url to for the visdl uh, and then you have a test environment which has multiple urls or multiple uh, different environments so rather than updating the the url or the endpoints in soap ui manually you can have the properties and define these endpoints in the properties and utilize those uh, properties uh, which will be something like here so uh, if you open any of these requests here so i'll open the rest um, the add request so you can see this is the endpoint right so here you can have multiple endpoints depending on the environment you are hitting so for example this is your test environment one you can add another endpoint for the test environment two so instead of having the hard-coded endpoint here you can define these endpoints in the properties that's the first usage or very commonly usage of the property the next important usage of property is you can use it to hold the authentic authentication credentials so for example your web service uh, requests the authentication or uh, it, it requires authentication to hit um, any of the methods then those authentication credentials could be stored using the properties um, similarly you could use properties um, to share the session ids during the test execution this will be very common when you are doing the automated testing for example you are hitting a request and in the response you are getting some of the session id which you need to pass on to the next service or next web service or next payload then in that case you can store that session id in one property and then pass it on to the another web service in order to achieve your end-to-end -end testing in soap ui now all these concepts will go ahead and explain you um, in practical how these will actually how you will be able to actually achieve these but as of this tutorial what we'll go we'll cover is we'll cover the global property project property test suite test case and test step properties and show you how you can configure these properties and use these properties in soap ui so let's get started now i'm on the soap ui uh, panel here uh, and i'm using soap ui free version which is uh, 5.5.0 now the global property if you go to the preferences and here in the preferences section you go to the global properties you can define the properties here so if you click on this plus sign i'll just highlight it so that's the plus sign that you can click all right and you can define the property so what I'll do is I'll define a property A and assign the value to the property A as one. And then I'll define another property B and assign the value as one as well. And then hit OK. So these are the global properties that you have defined 
in SOAP UI. And you can access global properties by hitting the preferences button here. All right, so this icon opens the global properties. Now, the second level property is the project property. So if you go to the project calculator, right, you see the project properties here and you have the custom property. So if you click on custom property, then you have this plus sign here. This, if you click on this plus sign, you can add the custom property at the project level. I'll add the property A at project level and assign the value as two. And I'll also allocate another property B and assign the value two. All right, so these are the properties at the project level. Now the third level is at the test suite level. Okay, so I've clicked on the test suite regression tests and I'll go into the custom properties. Just click on this plus to add the property at the test suite level. And I'll again add a property A and B and allocate value three at the test suite level. Fourth level is the test case level just click on the test case level and click on custom property, click on plus sign, add the property and provide the value four. Once you are done with this, you can add property at the test step level as well. To add the property at test step level, you just right click on the test step and click on add step and you will get a properties option click on properties and you can just say test step property. I've renamed it, click on OK and click on this right little arrow and click on the plus sign and provide the value five here. Similarly, B and provide the value five. Right. So now you have defined the properties at different levels. So we have defined the global properties. We have defined the project properties. And we have defined the test suite properties, which are the custom properties, then test case custom properties and test step custom property. You can see here. Right. Now, how can you utilize these properties in your test cases? Let's understand that. So for example, this is the request that you are using. So I'll open the add request, right? How to utilize these properties? To invoke these properties, you simply have to type the very simple command. So dollar and curly braces, hash, and then global, if you are accessing the global property, and then hash and the property name that you have defined and close curly braces. Similarly, for the other one, which is another parameter, and B, right? So that's how you will access the global property. Now, what this helps you is you don't have to hard code values here, right? So previously would you would have seen that I'm, I was hard coding the value two and three or, or whatever values that I used to pass in here. Now, if you define these values in the properties, you don't need to hard code. You can simply say, for example, these values are utilized at in 15 different test cases. If you're hard coding these values in 15 different test cases, you have to change it in every test case. Now, if you have defined these in properties, you don't have to do that um, changes in 15 test cases. You simply go to the properties and change these values and it will be um, visible to all those 15 test cases. That's the advantage of using properties. Now, in more advanced scenarios, you won't be using these um, you know, like properties um, to pass on these values. You can also use Excel sheets or other files to store your uh, data or externalize your data, which we'll cover uh, as well. 
but to explain you one of the advantage of properties this is how you do it and why you do it so if you just run this request you can see the result is 2 because the value in the global property of a and b was 1 and 1 right so if you see global property here we had defined property a had value 1 and b had value 1 so sum of these two value is 2 now that was the global property now if you change this global property or you don't want to use the global property you want to use the project property so you just change the global to project all right and rest all remain same i'll clear this Oops. okay and run it again now the sum should be four instead of two now you can see the sum is four i'll just highlight it to show you so now here here you can see the sum is four because it is taking the property of the project which we define in here at the project level the custom property a had two and b had value two and sum of these two value is four now if you want to change it to the test suite property just change it from project to test suite all right and run again and the sum should be six so now here you can see the sum is six similarly at the test case level change it to the test case And the sum is 8 because at the test case level we had properties with values 4 and 4 you can also use different so whichever so for example for B I want to use test suite property just leave it as test suite and run it so the sum is 7 because test suite so the value for of B is coming from test suite which is 3 and value of a is coming from test case which is 4 so 4 plus 3 is 7 now at the test step level you just need to provide the test step property it is a bit different so syntax is a bit different so you don't need this first hash there you just provide test step property and the value a right hash value a similarly test step property and the value b uh, hash b and then run it and it will come as 10 so the syntax to um so the syntax to basically uh, extract the values of these properties is same for all from global till the test case except the test step property in the test step property you don't need this hash uh, but all other properties you have to have the dollar curly braces hash global hash whatever the property name um, but in the test step level you'd simply provide dollar curly braces the name of the uh, property test a property hash and the name of the property that is defined now another important thing to note here is that the name of these uh, properties that you define are case sensitive so uh, like here we have defined the properties at the project level so it has to be uh, p caps if we want to access the property at the project level so just hash p caps project and the property defined at the project level if you change it to the lowercase p it will fail right so you'll get the error it has to be p caps and the value defined at the custom property at the project level so if you run this now you, you will get the result as seven similarly for the global level so g has to be capital and then the value you will get the result as six uh, similarly the test case and test suite t has to be cap test k 
case and similarly test suite so t caps s caps and then you can access the property now the other important thing i would like to explain here is that if you don't want to type the commands to access these properties you can simply uh, highlight the cursor or, or click on the property or uh, the payload where you want to access this property right click and then go to the get data and you can access the properties here so global project test suite test case and the test step right so if i choose any of these properties from here i can simply select the test suite property for a and another property at the test step property as b right so test suite property was uh, the value in test suite property was three i believe yes and the value in test step property was five so the answer should be eight uh, let's clear that and you can see the answer is eight right so that's another way to access the property if you don't want to tap type so just simply right click get data and access the property that you have defined you can also define the properties here from here simply just go to the project property if you want to define new properties at the project level and click on create new specify the name of the property say for example c and then it will ask to enter the value enter the value and if you go to the project level you will now see three custom properties defined c has been defined here as the value and has the value three so that's pretty much all about the properties in soap ui very important and very basic concept uh, it is really really helpful i would recommend to go through these properties in detail and understand different levels of properties and also analyze why you need these properties and which level would be uh, required in which particular test case so this understanding provides you a lot of uh, clarity in future when we will be going through the advanced tutorials of api uh, automation or web service automation using soap ui we'll be using these properties um, in a lot more detail in the future upcoming tutorials thank you